So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back with no really quick. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Uh, of course, took my video. So yeah. Um. Oh my lord, Pokemon Journeys review. I had done this for like a week, so don't blame me for that. But yeah, of course I gotta upload the video whenever, however I can. So it's kind of a little bit going off and off and on because I ju it just started happening because I've been recording three videos, two videos a day. Shorts, I don't care about shorts. Uh, I just I might just kind of rest up and calm down because a lot of Doki anniversary stuff has been going on. If you, if you follow my Dragon Ball Dragon Battle content, uh, we got anniversary for that though. So of course, and of course my throat's starting to take a little toe on it. Just recording two or three videos a night, so a day has can get you running and can kind of get your point. But the episode review shouldn't be that long. You know, like I said, it's nothing like really crazy in the episode either. So I said just cover down right from the beginning of the episode, like the hype up, the build up, with the characters being there, so cool, so awesome, and then we got this one. It's just kind of like I mean, again, a lot of my loss. You might have got taken an L, which you can see my other reviews somewhere around me, app above cards, whatever. Um, he even he like his episode was like coming back, even though he got destroyed, but he's still like. That was still something at least, but yeah, but uh, yeah, even the characters even over overhyped from that episode. <sighs> yeah, this one shouldn't like take too too long to cover and go over, though of course though. But um, yeah, again, very very simple easy episode. I'm gonna sound drained out and tired. Again, like I said, recording videos not stop, so I'm about to take a little break, like just kind of calm myself down a little bit during my videos. Yeah. Hopefully I just haven't to record anything else. I'm so I'm just so be out tired right now at this point. Yeah, but yeah, hopefully nothing else maybe this week. But yeah, of course the episode starts out of course with that answer. Of course, Link's Battle Battle, nothing crazy. Everybody's preparing for the predictions, Ash, and of course what Hop and everything. Of course, Team Rocket's of course slandering on. Well, mainly of course like Diane, of course like James and Meowth and Wolf are all happy. But of course Jesse Jealous because you know she's a movie star. Diane is a movie star. And she isn't. We did get some good callbacks here too. Like, we see like Reggie right here. Reggie was it Reggie? Reggie? I can't remember his name. And of course, we get like all the Johto um characters, like all the main characters. And we even get all the Carlos kids. Like we get like Shauna, Tierno. Um, Trevor, yeah, Trevor, Tiano, Shauna, even Sawyer, like, they all come back as cameos, and I like that. Reggie, I've been begging for him to come back. I actually like this character, even though you know, he was a discount clone Ash. Um, you know, he, he met Ash's dad, Corn, Cole, and Helen. We had his own little side, you know, theme episode because he didn't fit the budget in. Yeah, you know, that was really good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's good. I like always seeing him. It's really crazy, because, again, this is being broadcast over the whole entire world. It's cool, though. It definitely is cool. Am I hearing noise about stuff? Okay, yeah, people blasting the music left and right though, so yeah. But though, know, um, back to that, of course, Anthos, of course, yeah, now she's gonna win, foul all her heart, and it's cause her all pretty much. Of course, like I said, it's all the calls, kids, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then of course, everybody's super excited, ready to battle and everything, of course, so everybody's again, as excited, everybody's excited, typical stuff though. All, like, we'll call the Pokemon Dragon Knight, and of course, like a Morris, a Morris, um, it's one of the Kalos, um, fossils. Until I can't remember the name on top of me though, like, it starts with, it's like a Morris or a Morris, I know it's like a Wara. And Ice Dino Pokemon, which actually was a cool concept back then when it came out. Even now, I think it's still a decent concept of Ice, you know, it's basically Ice and Dragon. It's a combination of like, its weakness and its most powerful and power, pretty much, though. So, yeah, it can't be really be effective, though, like that, though. So, that's just probably the thing outside the box. He probably has like Flamethrower up its head. Every Dragon type Pokemon, every Charizard, like every Charizard in the series, pretty much has Flamethrower and stuff like that. We can kind of you know, put that under the rug and stuff like that, though. But, yeah, then, of course, um, after that, um, close it down here. Um, I saw that ad pop in. Um, yeah, though, of course, um, the episode starts out, they're about to strike and everything, of course. Um, yeah, though, of course, I think he used, like, what, like, Mirror Force or Mirror Shield, of course, I think. Does he use, like, Hyper Beam? Look like he just uses, like, Flames or Hyper Beam, like, right the gate. Then, of course, you know, Diane the Bing, oh, she is again. Champions, champions, all in the battling game. Typical, you know, tournament style, like, again, Pokemon League, not just him, doubt Pokemon League, because of that. But yeah, then of course, Lane tries to go to the sky, try to do, you know, take him above pretty much, see how effective it's gonna be. Then, of course, Warwars gets basically blown back. Of course, Lance is just getting super strong, and everything, just getting, you know, literally, um, hyped up and everything. Of course, I was happy because they're both Dragon types, of course, Stephen King is comments, so it's a lawn. And everybody just basically gets their commentary and stuff like that, of course. So he said they even commenting and entertaining herself. You know, Leon, again, everybody, all the champions are pretty much all commenting and stuff like that, of course. Did they try to go through her attack, pulls back, um, Dragonite pretty much just stops his attack, and Amos gets one, it's, uh, her fossil Pokemon gets one shot, though, so. Yeah, again, unless you're Dragonite, you can, it's just a baller beast at this point, though, in life. Then, of course, um, Lance actually calls it back, of course, calls out, I think it's, I think he calls out, like, a full-on high dragon, I think, and I think, um, of course, Diantha calls out her core guys. I think she, what she used in the game and stuff like that. Of course, Jesse just hitting and yawning on her. But now she's actually getting into it a little bit because, um, 
Of course, reminds of her gore guy. So, get a little Carlos callback. You know, let's just cameo callback in this episode. Because then's called out his shiny, um, freaking Gyarados. Now, so far, they're probably not going to try to get him back to either. So, they might just like, get him back something. I don't know. Um, yeah, of course, Gar guy's basically just going to fall through with the attack first. Game lands all Gar pretty much, of course. Um, then, um, I think the previous thing to show this off as well. Well, Gary does basically going on the attack for Gorgas and stuff like that. Of course, Lance is going more than defensive. Try to bend the balance stuff like that really quick. I think he uses Hyper Beam? Wrong one. I think if I would use Hyper Beam, though, then of course Gorgas um, uses, um, is it Miracle Force? Miracle Force? Basically, block the back and stuff like that, of course. Gorgas gets easily blown back, but makes a pretty solid comeback and destroys his Gyarados. Again, it is game just getting beat game buffed and stuff like that. Of course, of course, Jesse cheers are one that's stuff like that, of course. Uh, again, like I said, having her Gorgas and stuff like that, now everybody's cheering on for Diantha pretty much at this point. Again, Jesse just jealous because, you know, she's a, Diantha's a movie star and she isn't, and Jesse loves acting. Again, little girl, so like acting and does have stuff like that, of course, and Diantha's pretty much her in the definition, of course. You know, it, again, this is it's very, very typical stuff. My video, so of course. Okay, it is, I had to make sure. <laughs> Sometimes my face cam looks works well too good, and then it just crashes and messes up. I was about to curse and say a curse word. I don't curse, I'm so safe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. Of course, he calls out his uh, new high dragon, which is insane. Level 60. Nice! Yoo but yeah, then of course, I the um, the Rage of Battle and everything, of course, they're using her gold guy still. Um, again, I think we already told us in the previews already, pretty much, though, so, yeah, nothing that crazy there. Kodanta calls, um, you know, tries to do the same move twice. Lance's like, yeah, I'm not having any of that, and just obliterates Gorkais. <laughs> it's just crazy, dude. It's so freaking crazy. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Sheesh. Yeah, Lance just destroys her, like, triple Dark Pulse. Like, I think I have Dragon Island, Dark Pulse, Hyper Beam, Flamethrower, or Dragon Brush. Edit back in phase. But yeah, I have to make a start with that dab, like, edit back in phase. Dang it, I didn't do that. But yeah, um, edit back in phase again. But yeah, of course, um, yeah, Gorgias got destroyed, um, and obliterated. Jesse's sad about it, except for Gorgias, of course. The Gorgias sounds like super sad about it, of course. Um, we already know what's happening next. Mega Evolve, God of War. Yeah, 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 we already know about that already. Um, then, of course, one shot's a high, oh, new, mega, oh, hype, moon, one blast shots, high dragon. Again, that's nothing surprising there, though, of course. Yeah. Then, of course, we actually see Dragon Knight come out. And, of course, that's a little bit of a strategy right here, just, just Gigantamax it. Good idea, but at the same time, Gigantamax is, you know, again, they barely even did it in the series. And even there was, like, just arc stuff, though. Not a bad idea, but the thing about Gigantamax, which I'm still sad about, slash mad about, is that they could have literally, like, just, they could have did a lot more with it. They could have made, I feel like they were kind of just maybe lazy on this, though, but they easily could have made more designs, like, more DLC designs for it and stuff like that. I mean, we get a certain chill at this point, you know, no one's gonna, you know, play it anymore, it's been out for years, and blah, 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 but they also play it, though. That still is, like, the most recent Pokemon game to date right now, so, yeah. Of course, I'm gonna be wrong, everybody's gonna slam it on me anyway, so who, who, who cares, who cares? But yeah. So, of course, um, Dan wants to make the formal finale, so, of course, they both go all out. Shadow Ball versus, what, I, you know, Max Hailstorm? Hailstorm? Um, then, of course, of course, Guard of War is affected by it. Again, being a fairy type and stuff like that, of course, again, Lance and Dragon Knight just got to devastate it, so that Lance is not, like, one of the pack or anything. He's like, I'm destroying your Guard of War. I'm done with this, um, thick Diantha meme out here. So, of course, um, you know, with it being bigger, you know, stronger, of course, Lance tries to go in with full power of Guard of War. Swiftly dodges and everything, of course. Shadow Ball, I think, just, you know, Gets obliterated by Dra um, Dragonite, let's say Dragonite. And of course, Guard War is a little bit weakened out, so of course, they got one more move to pretty much finish it off. Like that, of course. Then, then, Guard War starts to come one, yay, woohoo, Pokemon, blah, 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 blah. Then, of course, you know, Fairy Moon Blast, Obliteration, destroys Dragonite, so yeah. Again, we already knew this is gonna get swooped anyway. Again, when he already has time to shine in the beginning, he has time to shine back with Joseph Hoenn. Yeah, I mean, it makes him day through one anyway. But of course, they congratulate each other. That was over. Yay, everybody's excited for everything. Steven, of course, Leon talked about this bomb battle. I wonder, good. I wonder if it's gonna be Steven versus Diantha. I think it's gonna be. Leon versus Diantha would have been pretty cool. Of course, um, Team Rocky, of course, goes in. Trevor reviewed Diantha and everything. Of course, then Jesse just slams on her. Good face thumbnail review right there. Look at thumbnail stuff. Look at the price point. It's gonna be my thumbnail regardless. Yeah, of course. Um, Lance just wants to get stronger, of course, later on in the future, so he can be, um, battle her again, and pretty much again, typical Pokemon stuff. Battle them again, get stronger, typical stuff, of course, Ash, and of course, Iris is ready to, Ash is ready to Iris on, of course, next to her in 50th match. Probably gonna be honest with you, the best match, because again, this has been a long way to fight in the series. Cynthia versus Iris, again, the Unibo, they first met and stuff like that, of course, but now, this is gonna be utterly insane right here, and I think it's gonna be a really good fight, though. Overall, though. Then, of course, the battle starts out with them calling out the Pokemon. Then, of course, you know, um, for, um, 
think Iris is actually good draw, of course, to have seen on time, because, um, for Cynthia, it's, I think, a sluggy, I can't remember, that was, like, Gatrodon's female counterpart, but yeah, it ends end off there, though, of course, starting out the battle, then, of course, um, you know, starting off the battle, then, of course, ending in a typical Pokemon fashion, again, they're not Pokemon League, pretty much, not a bad episode, that's probably the best one, I thought, again, Lance Gigantamax scene was pretty simple and easy, like, oh my gosh, you got Gigantamax Dragonite, even though Gigantamax is pretty much dead at this point, like, that, honestly, just, because, it, in general, good concept, but overall, like, it just, at this point, it's like, they could really, really went hard. Because I like the idea of gigantic Pokemon battling, give them good designs and designs. I guess, I guess, I, I get it, they can do it for every Pokemon, because, you know, 200 Pokemon, pretty much in the, 400 Pokemon, pretty much in the game, and looking forward. And we have the natural deck, maybe, like, what, 800? And, what, almost 900 Pokemon in the series? But, yeah. Overall, I'm not, you know something like that? Okay, that was my stuff. I know I'm hearing stuff, because it's really loud outside, so my brain's just like, I need to check now! But yeah, um, not a bad um, episode and stuff like that, of course. My video mess up again. Did my video mess up again? Probably like dads and stuff like that coming in and mess it up, loading up everything. Um, but yeah, um, not a bad episode. My video still on me. Let me pause it. Okay, it is still going. I have no idea what my face cam chucked out there for a second then. But yeah. Um, not a bad episode. It, it was, again, nothing like crazy, crazy happened. Again, we all knew that Anthem was going to win pretty much. Again, we've already seen so much of Lance already in the series and, of course, in the beginning. And it was a kind of obvious again. Mega God of War versus Gigantamax, Dragonite, the typical stuff, of course. Um, that was so simple and easy. That to that, um, again, the Pokemon, like, the new Pokemon is about Gore Geist and, of course, Amolus, or Dianth is pretty cool, new ones. High Dragon was pretty cool. Um, of course, since we are having his regular Gyarados, and of course, you know, Dragonite, stuff like that. Pretty simple, pretty easy. But yeah, the, Pokemon, the new Pokemon were amazing, pretty good, stuff like, and stuff like that, of course. Uh, Dan, that game, really good, so I like her as a champion. I like her design, though. Like, I really like her design. I know everybody teams are her being the worst champion ever. Like, Lance is really bad. Leon's just a powerhouse. Ash is just a meme at this point in the series. <laughs> like, holy crap! But, um, yeah. I mean, overall, it was always okay. Again, you know, the Irish versus Cynthia, you know, go review that thickness next episode. We already got thickness one, we gotta get thickness two up in this beat, my boys! Ah! Oh, her mouth for a second. Yeah, I got into the video there. My thoughts are trying to hurt up. See you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good. Thank you so much for staying safe. Watch your hands. God bless all of you. Going out. Come by Matt. So I'm told that we're ready to. Let's see if again. Plus, I just passed the copium. Show it to my friends on Discord. Everywhere. All socials. Everything. We can think of all this and below. Of course, like, hit it again. Very simple. Very easy stuff. Like I said, though. Craziness. 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 My throat hurts. Gonna go relax. Doing recording. Thank you. Whew. See you guys later, though. Hey, I got shorts to do, but those are like, I can do this later. See you guys later, though, again, though. It's out.